can you mistakenly go live is a glorified whore. Um, I listened to about five seconds and I turned it off. I can't, like, like, nah, nah, like, I'm not, that's not happening. I'm not listening to that fully. I'm not. <sighs> I can only imagine how embarrassed Shannon Sharp must, must feel. I must only imagine how embarrassed Hickey must feel because, let's be real, nobody, and I mean nobody wants to hear the audio of her doing bind um closed sheets. So look, um because what I want to understand is how did this occur and how did this happen? So I believe this was a mistake. That's where I'm at with it right now. That I believe that this is just an honest m mistake. It's, it's he didn't know it he was live, he went live and it's all happened. But here's the thing. So let's now be investigative. So to go live on Instagram, you need to do a few things. Your phone needs to be unlocked. You need to open up Instagram. You need to now press live. Then you now need to say, are you sure you want to go live? Then you press yes. You know, guys, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, now, right, because... I was just watching people make the view, and I think it was Cameron who made the view on his show. It is what it is. Do you know the amount of steps you have to go through? So let, let's say he already had Instagram open. You So you had Instagram open, and you flew your phone, phone away. How would the phone being here and everything lead to Instagram is open. You press, because remember, you now have to now... Swipe, press live, then it shares, says, are you sure you want to go live? Then you have, now have to click yes. Put it this way, guys. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong here. Can you mistakenly go live? If, let's say, the, the phone is just around you, could you mistakenly go live? Now, here's the thing. I believe he's got an iPhone. So I'm an Android user. So, again, I'm talking to the iPhone users out there. Could based on the where the buttons are and how the buttons work on, on iPhone, is there a way in which you could go into live? Because the reason why I feel it's hard to think that it was a mistake is there's just so many steps that you have to go through. Because the key thing is it's not just on, it's not just a button. You you press a button to go live, then it says that are you ready? Are you sure you you you, you want to go live? Because it now says okay, these are the amounts of people who could view you. And these amounts of people who are available that can view you going live. Then you're like, yes, I'm sure you press live. Circle thing, circle thing, circle thing. Now you're, you're live. So it's like, because put it this way, his phone had to be unlocked, firstly. Then you'd have to probably have already had Instagram opened up. So if you had Instagram opened up, I would want to know what's with the, the logistical steps that's led to the phone mistakenly being going live. And he says he's never gone live before. So, he, you see, there's so many conspiracy theories <laughs> that are going through is, was this a setup because people said that he's homosexual, so therefore he's proving that he's not only homosexual, which is, that's just wild. Why do you need to prove, prove anything? Just live your life and, and so forth. So, but I still feel it was accidental. Now, many people are comparing this to your boy Paul Pierce. So remember, Paul Pierce used to be on the ESPN for first take, and he went live with a whole bunch of women just partying and just living his life. So guys, now, wait a minute. If Paul Pierce lost his job for that, and that was much less than what Shannon Sharp did, which is that, bro, you were like, you had a live and we heard you having sex. But there's a big difference here. Paul Pierce, he knowingly did this. Like, Paul Pierce, no, 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 I did this, 100%. Like, and 
This was not a mistake. This was not done. I knew what I was doing. I looked straight at the screen and I was like, yes, I'm going live. So I stand by my decision doing this. In Sharon Sharp's video, he was never viewed on the video. He was never looking on the video. So it is easy to believe that Shannon Sharp did that mistakenly than for Paul Pierce. So Sharon Sharp can't say to ESPN that <laughs> it's a mistake. Paul Pierce is like, I can't say it's a mistake when like, well, I was very comfortable in me going live. So yes, Shannon Sharp's offense is far worse, but his, you could say, was a genuine mistake. Paul Pierce, you, know, you normally did it. Now, personally for me, I don't take any issue with what Paul Pierce did, but I'm not a Disney, <laughs> you know? So I'm like, yeah, he's having fun, it's fine. You know, the way, now one woman was twerking, but fine, twerk, it is what it is. So I was like, bro, so a guy can't have fun with some chicks. It is what it is. So, but that's why it comes to the Disney dudes. Because my thing is, it's interesting what they, they, they will do. In my view, you can't prove that Sean Sharp did that intentionally. You can't pro prove it. So I think he can easily say, oh, it was a mistake. That's, I've never gone live before. I'm a very private person. And the way that it was done was because you could hardly see what's happening. All you could see was audio. Boom. Because my thing is here, if you want to release a sex tape knowingly, bro. Like this was done knowingly. Now, let's be clear here. Because I think Ray J was on Sean Sharp's interview and he was actually explaining this where... This was supposed to be a private video between them. Supposed to be a private video between <laughs> So, you know, some look on that. But this was supposed to be a private video between both of them. However, Ray J said that, oh, no, 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 I was screwed over. Because Kim Kardashian actually took that and put it out there to boost her popularity because... So what happened with Pamela Anderson and is it Tommy Lee? Then what happened with Paris Hilton? And she was like, oh my gosh, look at look at what that did for Pamela Anderson, but specifically look at what that did for Paris Hilton. I want that boosters as well. So it was really her mother who leaked that tape and put that tape out there. And thus she became a professional whore. Let's keep it a stack. Kim Kardashian is a glorified whore. Same thing with Amber Rose. Like, Amber Rose, Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, they are glorified whores. <laughs> so, that's what, you're a glorified whore. So, that video made her a glorified whore and helped to boost her popularity. The same popularity boost that we saw from Paris Hilton. So, this was a case of where this was intentional and intentionally done to have a viral moment and capitalize off that viral moment. And you're looking at keeping up with the Kardashians. That is what she's about. She's an attention whore. <laughs> she's an attention whore. So that's where we're at. So that's very different from Shannon Sharp where Shannon Sharp is not. Okay. Here, so this is why I have to ask people. So if you think that it was intentional, you do know that he has the most popular and most viewed interview on YouTube, 70 mil and counting Cat Williams. You do know that Nightcap has over a million followers and is literally one of the biggest and most watched YouTube internet talk shows right now. You do know that that ESPN check is real good. So think about it. Do you think he wants to mess up that ESPN check? Specifically with what happened with him, with Skip Bayless. So... Unless he's stupid, and Sean Sharp is far from being stupid, this is a very smart dude. Why the heck would he try to put out or leak a sex tape like that? And also, if let's say you're trying to leak that out, bro, no, no, I don't want his viewers. You know, I don't want anything. But yeah, just like with um, Ray J and Kim K, like, okay, you have to have some freaking visuals. <laughs> you know, so... If he wanted to leak that out, that is trash to leak that out. So that's my thing there. I think it's fine now. Here the king who is Michelle? 
Apparently, I told you I've not heard the, the video, the audio. No, no one hear the audio. But apparently, she said "papi," which narrows it down. So you know, <laughs> shout, shout to Rose Monroe and Francesca Himes. That's what I'm saying. Mona Fayanson, what up, baby? Um, so who is Michelle? Put that to one side. No one need, needs to be re revealed. But look, I think that it is, look. I, I watched the Knights Cup explanation, and you see, that's the key thing. We know you were not hacked. We know you were not hacked. That's why you said, no, put down that. I wasn't hacked. Honest mistake. Own up. Hey, it is what it is. And guys, when we get beyond the initial shock, okay, he was having sex. <laughs> People say, oh my gosh, you're having sex. How were you, the person who watched in this video, how were you created? How was I created? Because two people had sex. So yes, he's having sex, okay. <laughs> and when you have sex, you say things and you, and you do things. and you, So when we go beyond the initial shock of like, oh my gosh, it's like, okay, he was having sex. Okay, it's guys, it's not a big deal. <laughs> a guy was having sex and we just had it. Okay, like we all have sex, we all do. <laughs> you know, so it's 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 beyond us. So, but yeah, um, can you go onto Insta Live by mistake? That's what I want to know. <laughs> but I don't know, come on, Shan, he's fine. Look, it's honest oh, mistake. Let him live. Let him do do his thing. But look, I I if I'm dizzy, don't don't sack him. Don't sack him. In my view, it's an honest mistake. Super honest mis mistake. It happens. And but beyond that, it's not a big deal. He was having sex. So what? Who cares? Who cares? Come on, bro. 